Christian. Yeah, yes. Well, we now want to take you live to uh, Professor Lanyangapo, where he also has had a very interesting stint serving with the president, the late president, uh, Moai Kibaki. And thank you, uh, Governor, for joining us. And uh, what are some of your recollections of the late president? And what does this mean? What does the, his demise mean to you as a person? First of all, let me, on behalf of myself, my family, and the great people who spoke out, Kenyans, pass my condolences to the family of our late president, the third president of Kenya, Emilio Mwaikipaki. I remember him vividly for what he did, especially to the people of West Pokot during his tenure. That was a time we saw a lot of development coming to our area and also having the opportunity to have senior government positions coming to that region. During that time, our first uh, government senior position was uh, given to West Pokot people. Uh, the permanent secretary, the first permanent secretary came to West Pokot during the tenure of Mike Kibaki, and that person was myself. And I remember working with him so closely. He treated us, all of us, as his children. And uh, during our time, guided by our president, a lot of development was seen in our land. You all of you Kenyans recollect and remember the government was called the Grand Coalition Government where all Kenyans of all tribes and all races within our land had a say and a stature in that government. We had five years of massive development during the tenure of Mwai Kibagi. You remember that was the time uh, Raila was made uh, the Prime Minister. Uh, the current President Uru Kenyatta was made the Deputy Prime Minister. And all these senior guys you see today in our land were mentored and they worked so closely in the hands and the able leadership of Mwai Kibaki. We credit him, all of us Kenyans, for the stability in our land the economic boom. People talk about economic models today of every size, shape, but you can remember the way the economist Mike Baki was able to bring our GDP until it made our country to shine among the leading in, our, in Africa. And uh, look at the unity that we saw. During that time, because it was a grand coalition government, if the minister came from the PNU side where Kibaki was, the PS would come from, the you could say opposition uh, or so. And that's the way we were able to put ourselves together. Myself, I worked with Henry Koskei, who was from uh, the side of, uh, uh, of Rail at that time. But look at the competitive spirit that was displayed during that time. What you enjoy today, the massive infrastructure you, see, the, you enjoy today, the massive plans that are being implemented by the Jubilee government today, were actually laid and put in place during that time. This man, the president, Mwai Kibaki, he, he gave us what we are able to see today, the unity of our people. This is one man who never lived into petty things, petty differences, political nightmare, political drama. He would just listen to all of you running around, at the end of it all, he never replied, he never reasoned. We learned a lot. And how I wish today, especially as we approach our elections, this coming elections, we can learn one or two, or a lot of learnings from him, though he's left. He left at us legacy, we can uh, Google, go to the TV, look at our newspapers, look at, listen to our radio station that time, and see how we were able to storm and, and, and navigate uh, when we had uh, stormy times. Remember, we had post-election violence, things were tough. If we had a, a president that had a little uh, easy heart, it would not, Kenya would not have gone the way it went. But we are here, courtesy of the leadership of that man. We, the guys who are still alive today, the young generations who are claiming that they cannot learn anything from senior people, I'm telling you today, go to the archives. You need to open, look at the lives 
at the times of the late Mr. Chomo Kenyatta, look at the times of the late Mr. President Moy, now Kibaki, and everybody. We have a lot to learn. We are rushing today to copy and learn a lot from uh, foreign leaders in uh, foreign lands, but we have a memorable, uh, 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 a lasting history to learn from our forefathers. And every Kenyan, every Kenyan today, as we listen and we mourn with all everybody else, we need to collect and print the pattern to see how these guys were able to bring this nation together, were able to move this nation together, and also look at the, the plans they put for future. We have very nice plans that were put ahead. And I'm asking myself and everybody listening to me that we need to stand as one, irrespective of political affiliation we are in, in remembrance of Mike Badi. Thank you. Well, many thanks indeed. Uh, West Court Governor there, Professor John Lonyangapo, just giving his tributes and his recollections during his time with the late President Mwai Kibaki. And we are still going to be discussing this. We want to go on a quick break. On the other side of the break, for the young generation, perhaps who never really interacted much with the President, he was nicknamed Obako. We'll be discussing that after this break. Get the whole story.